All right, I did it. I made the cornflakes. I mean, technically, I guess, Special K, because dehydrated strawberries for it. But I, I did it. I made them. Is it cheaper to make it on your own? I, the flakes, maybe. But, you know, the, the Special K, absolutely not. Not even close. Have you seen the price of berries lately? Recipe for the flakes is simple enough. There's hundreds of those that have popped up the last couple of weeks, and they're all virtually identical. It's about a cup and a half of corn flour with a tablespoon of sugar, about a half a teaspoon of salt, and sometimes you add a splash of uh, vanilla extract to it. You add enough water to mix that together into a pancake batter consistency and then spread it thin on uh, wax or parchment paper. Now for this, I started out with a cup of water. I probably had to add close to a full two cups of water before I got there. I also completely forgot to grease my baking sheet just at all, so I got lucky nothing really stuck. And if I ever make these again, absolutely spread this thinner. By happenstance, they turned out fine. I just would not want a cornflake any heftier than these husky boy fellas we got right here. Now the actual cooking of this happens in two stages. First, it's going to go into a much warmer oven, uh, 350 degrees for 15 to 25 minutes or so. And what's going to happen is our corn paste is going to start to dehydrate and it's going to get a little crackly and it's going to turn into corn leather and we're going to pull it out then and flip it over, break it up into smaller pieces that are much closer to the flake size we're looking for, turn our heat down to about 250 and then let it cook until they get all hard and crispy. Now, as far as flakes of corn go, I think this is hardier than what you're going to find in the cereal aisle. A bowl of these are going to stick with you a little bit longer than a bowl of corn flakes will. They also seem to take longer to absorb any milk, so depending on how crunchy you, you like your cereal, I'll let them marinate a little bit longer than you might the box stuff. That being said, what is the result? They taste like cornflakes. I like them. Everybody else in the household likes them. I think this recipe is a win. Is it any cheaper? Uh, absolutely not. Not if you're buying your own strawberries to add to it. But uh, the, the flakes of corn, yeah, those are pretty cheap. It's uh, salt and corn flour. You know, maybe a tablespoon of sugar. It's super cheap, super easy to make. Uh, I'd call this recipe definitely a win.